So here's a fun fact. If you um, participated in the Golden Ticket promo, well, the Golden Ticket Opportunity promo, within around 40 minutes of them being released into the game, they were all pulled. All the Golden Tickets were pulled within 40 minutes, maybe even a little bit less than that, maybe like 35 minutes. They were all pulled. And this is kind of funny, but... Every year, I feel like EA butchers the Golden Ticket promo, in all honesty. They do an awful job of releasing them. They either make them impossible to pull, or they make them just so easy to pull that so many people pull them right away. And based on what I've seen, a lot of streamers were pulling Golden Tickets. That is very interesting to me. Now, listen... Do I think EA Sports would rig this? Do I think they would throw away? Yes, they would. I don't even know where I was going with that one. Yes, they would. Absolutely, they would. That's not a question they would. This is like the most corrupt slash non... Like, corrupt in the way of how they go about their business. But they're not like corrupted in the fact... I guess corrupt doesn't always have to be like really bad. But they are very corrupt. And they like to play favorites. They ban you on Twitter if you say anything bad about them. Like, this is how EA Sports works. And I'm not saying this because, like, oh, I didn't pull one, so therefore I'm upset. It's still annoying, right? Is that I feel like every year, and not every year, but, uh, yeah, mostly every year, they butcher this golden ticket promo. And I don't know what way they could really do it better, I guess just, it feels like they either make it too easy to pull or it's impossible to pull. I feel like maybe just like the intermediate, like just make the odds normal. I don't know. Again, like I said, it's just, it's frustrating. It's annoying. But at the same time, it is what it is, you know. Uh, we have a lot of streamers that did go ahead and get golden tickets. And again, is, could that have all just been random? Yeah. I mean, is there any correlation between the streamers getting them and what they, like, EA Sports knowing them? I don't know, right? I like to say my one account, my No Money Spend account, is Juice account. And I kind of think it is because my normal account that I think EA knows because I showed off in my videos before, never pulls anything good. But my No Money Spend squad, whoo, whoo. I pulled like three limited times. I'm pulling crazy cards. If I do solo challenges, I pull the best player possible. So, it's EA, man. But it's just crazy. 40 minutes, or 35 actually, and all the golden tickets will go in. Just like that. Within seconds. Within seconds, 35 minutes. I don't know. And I'm guaranteeing you the golden tickets that come out are going to be very... I mean, at the end of the day, EA Sports does have the right to veto any golden ticket that they don't like. That's another thing. You know, so they have the ability to say, Oh, no, don't like that golden ticket. Get them out of here. We don't want that golden ticket. Again, like I said, at the end of the day, I don't know how they could have done this process perfectly. I still, I kind of do like this idea where they give you a free opportunity pack. I don't think that's a bad idea. I know in the past they have tried other things like you open up a, you go to this store and you can open up an opportunity pack three different times for 500 coins. And I do like the fact that they gave us 20, I mean 10 chances this year to pull golden tickets. Again, like I said, it's, it's like the system entirely on how it was done is not bad. It's the pack odds and how easily they were pulled, which I think is the problem. But again, like I said, I mean, it's a it's a difficult system. It's a difficult system to, I guess, figure out. I don't know. Because tell me down below how you would have went about it. Because I feel like if you make them, like, because, again, EA does one of two things. They either make them so that, bam, they all get pulled right away, or they take forever to pull. And, again, the pack in the store, that wasn't the worst idea, but then the servers went down, and then that was a problem. At least this one, the servers did go down eventually. But when they went down, it was once all the golden tickets were pulled. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. 
I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. It's one of those situations where it's like, again, I'm not butt hurt that I didn't pull one at the end of the day. I never pulled one. I don't really care. Um, I know I do. Okay, I do care, but like I'm saying, like it's not gonna be a big deal if I don't pull one at the end of the day. Could I rather honestly for content wise, I would if I pull one, I would just go ahead and let you guys shoot the golden ticket we create. But even then, I mean, I'm still gonna make videos about them and use the cards when they come out. But again, like I said, just kind of my initial thoughts and kind of a loss for words at this point, I guess. Am I? Tell me down below if I'm crazy. Is this is this not crazy that within 35 minutes they're all gone? I just feel like they they should have lasted in the game for like maybe an hour or two, like not crazy long, but like at least some time. And the fact that a lot of streamers got them also again it just kind of makes me think like uh, something going on there. But maybe there is no corruption here. Maybe I'm just crazy. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.